guys, welcome to Brian's Man Cave. So today I'm going to be taking a look at three different Atari joysticks. Now, these aren't necessarily Atari joysticks in the sense that they only work on an Atari. Um, and the reason why I call it the Atari joystick is because it's the standard one that came with the original Atari 2600 when it came out to the market. Um, but that being said, these controllers are your standard 9-pin uh, joystick controllers, single button. Um, I used to use them all the time on my Commodore 64. Um, you could use it on the Atari computers. They're, they're used on a wide variety of platforms. But anyways, let's get to the different controllers. Now, in the 80s, 90s, there was a ton of these things on the market because, like I just said, Commodore 64 was a big computer. Uh, a lot of people had one, or they had the VIC-20. Um, or an Apple computer, or not Apple, but, oh, well, actually, I don't know if Apple, Apple uses these, these nine pin ports or not, now that I'm thinking about it. Anyways, but back to what I was trying to say, the computers of the day, plus the Atari 2600 itself, and probably a few other consoles, use these nine pin controllers, and the market kind of had a ton of them. I remember buying this one, um, when, after I got my Atari Junior, um, I needed a, I guess I needed a joystick for whatever reason, and I picked this one up. It was just a cheapy knockoff type of joystick, and and I remember back in the day there there being a ton of these things. There, when I was a kid, there was even like joysticks that had like little suction cups that you would stick to the to the table. It looked almost like an airplane joystick. I probably still have it in my uh, box of junk, uh, but I think the last time I tried to use it, the button wasn't working. Uh, but yeah, there, there's lots of joysticks, even for like other systems like the ColecoVision had joysticks like this, the Super Pro Action Controller thing, um, which kind of gave that cool looking joystick, uh, arcade stick at the top, and then your buttons and all that other fun stuff. And of course you had the, um, the Intellivision, um, which a lot of people don't like. And, uh, you know, the, this is the Intellivision 2, which actually allowed you to unplug it, um, but what I want to talk about today, and let's get rid of this, I, I stopped using this one because it's really not good, is the original Atari 2600 joystick. This this is a joystick that brings the nostalgia for people. Um, it's a little bit dusty, uh, but it brings the nostalgia for people. This is the one that a lot of people used back in the day. It's a trusted controller. Um, and, you know, frankly, I don't think they build things like this as, as well as they used to. Um, you know, this is solid work and you can actually feel the weight and the, the thing that I love about this this joystick itself is is the firm of the joystick itself um, It's very very you can feel when you when you push up and down. There's a lot of resistance there It's not you know cranks up and down very easily and what what that did was it allowed you to have a little bit more precision when you were playing games like a hero for the Atari 2600 which I always Whenever I bring up Hero, I always talk about using a really good controller when you play that game. And, uh, you know, I think because this was the controller that was used, um, the game is geared towards using a controller like this to give you that pre precision. And then you got, the, you know, your single button, which is a nice, it's got a little groove in there. I don't know if you could see that. It's a little bit uh, tricky, I guess, on the camera, but there's a little bit of groove there. It's nice to hold with your thumb. Um, now that being said, um, I've talked with other people and, and uh, you know, they've, they said things like, um, you know, having an, an extra fire button over here would be a, would have been a lot more beneficial as well uh, for the left-handed people or people who like to play it in the other hand or use their, their right hand for the, for the uh, fire button, which is a great idea. And, and I'm pretty certain that there's a lot of them. I mean, even this one that I showed kind of mimics, uh, does that very thing. Um, it's got the two on each side, so if you're going to hold it with one hand or the other hand, um, so that's a you know that's just one little thing that the uh, they kind of got wrong with this controller. Um, but other than that, I mean it's it's very very simple. Of course, it's got the nine pin plug, uh, very standard back in the day. All of the obviously until the 5200 came out, and for whatever reason, uh, the Atari tried to make this weird other plug. But anyways, let's get to the other one I wanted to show, because this is a more recent one, and this is kind of like uh, the Atari Flashbacks version of the um, Atari joystick. Now, at first glance, you're going to say, well, no, they're the same. They, they look the same. They Obviously, they're, they're probably the same thing. 
um, but they're not. Um, this is getting caught here. The problem I found with this one, as much as it looks good, it's the same comfort, the same, uh, you know, holding it. It's way lighter. Um, this feels like there's nothing in there. <laughs> I mean, when I'm holding this, it's just light as air. And, you know, it kind of reminds me of the, uh, the NES joystick thing that I use for my computer upstairs. It's, it's not made by Nintendo. Um, I forgot the name of it, some retro company. And it's the same thing. It's light as air. There's like probably just a small little microchip in there and that's about it. Um, and that's what I'm thinking is in here. It's, it must be like, for whatever reason, they didn't want to put weights in it. And having this weight in, in your hand really helps make the controller comfortable when you're holding it. In fact, I've seen even designs or, or products where it's like a big slab of wood and in the middle of it's a hole where you can shove this controller, the, the square controller in there, and it kind of makes it level. So you got this nice heavy chunk of wood sitting on your lap or whatever, so you can play that way. Um, but anyways, yeah, so this kind of bothers me sometimes when I'm holding it. It feels like when I'm playing it, it's just gonna fly out of my hand. I don't know why. Um, also the button, it's, it's nice too, but it does make a little bit of a clicky noise that this one I found doesn't. It's nice and soft. Um, this one sounds clinky. It's, it sounds like as I'm playing it, it's gonna break. Um, no, I don't know. I, I know that there's been, um, you know, people who say that this, the original controller does break a lot, but, um, I've also heard that this is quite fragile too. And, uh, that, that goes on to my next point is it is very wiggly. You can feel that. And like I was saying with the tension, I don't like that. This feels like this is just going to snap in my fingers. Um, the other, the original one ha has broken in a lot of people. They did sell repair kits for these things where you could get a whole new joystick and stuff like that. Um, or people who played the game track and field tend to break a lot of these things, but you're being really, really rough on the thing. I mean, when you're playing track and field, it is like literally you are going up and down or left and right. I can't remember what it is. And, and you know, a lot, and you're, you're going to eventually just snap it off. I don't think this would last very long if you tried that. Um, but otherwise, I mean, you know, it's the same plug, looks the same. Um, I think, they, you know, replicating the original one was a smart idea. And of course, you know, it, it brings the nostalgia. It looks the same. They could have simply just packed in a brand new or a, a, a game pad because, frankly, a lot of people, especially in the, in the 90s, when they still wanted to play their Ataris, and even today, I should say, they prefer to use things like a Sega Genesis controller or Sega Master System controller just because they like the, the uh, feel of the gamepad versus the, the arcade stick. So let's get on to the third one I wanted to talk about. And, and the, the reason, I, I guess the whole reason of this video is my, my previous video um, where I talked about, the, the, the uh, I did a response video with the problem with retro gaming to RGT's 85's video. And I, I held this up and I was thinking about this. I'm like, you know what? Willie gave me this a while back and I haven't actually really inspected it or taken a look at it. So now's my chance because, you know, I've always used these two and frankly, I've had this flashback one hooked up to my Atari recently and it, it annoys me. I don't know why I've been using it. Um, so I thought, let's, I wonder if this is better. Now this is made by old school, I guess, uh, or that's, I don't know, is that the name? It just says old school on the top there. Um, Atari 2600. <laughs> You know, for Atari 2600, which, like I said at the beginning of the video, um, I mean, that's it, it works from that, and it works on a bunch of other things. But I'm, I'm assuming that they're going after the, the Atari 2600 crowd. Um, so it says here, uh, oh, Atari 2600 joystick new. This is obviously from the store that he got it from, uh, $9.99. So that's kind of uh, uh, scary right there. I mean, if it's only 10 bucks, what am I going to get here? <laughs> So let's uh, let's open her up and let's pull it out. Okay. So right off the bat, this looks like it has a really long wire. I wonder if they. Uh... Whoa, whoa. Uh, yeah, this is this is a, this is a really long wire. So that's that's a good thing. I mean, uh, these these things tend to have very short wires. Um, so you have to literally be sitting in front of your Atari. Uh, this looks like I can actually put the uh, Atari on my floor and kick it away and sit on my couch and relax, play some Atari. But anyways, um, let's get to the actual controller itself. Um, this one's got some weight. It's got a little bit more weight, although 
I could be fooling myself because the wire is making it feel heavy, but no, this definitely has something in there. there there's there's weight in there. Um, now, as far as the stick is concerned, which is the important part, is the controls. Oh God, you can hear it's got a popping sound. Uh, that 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 makes me wonder what's going on inside there. I, I'm not going to open this up. Uh, I know some of my other YouTuber friends would, you know, like the Atari Creep would get a screwdriver and pop this thing open and see what's inside. But uh, I can see that this is like hitting some kind of weird bubbly contacts or something. And ah, that, uh, I don't know if I'd want to listen to that while I'm playing Atari all the time. And let's see how the button is. Oh, that, that oh, this is even worse. Let's see, let's, let's compare. This is the flashback one. <laughs> wow. I mean, if this is all you can get, this is all you can get. I'm not gonna say that, you know, don't ever buy this product. If you have an Atari, you need a joystick, the store, is the, the uh, retro store beside your, you know, closest to your house has this one. I guess it will work. Um, I'm, I'm inclined to actually give this one a shot, but um, yeah, I, I think at this point, um, I think you just dish out the money and, and buy a brand, like buy a real original Atari 2600 joystick. Um, they, they are not that expensive. I mean, I'm sure there's tons of them around. Every Atari system that got sold came with these. Some, I think, came with two. Um, and then even throughout the 90s, when they brought out the Atari Junior, uh, you got one of these. So yeah, still try, you know, try tested and true the original Atari 2600 joystick. Turns out to be the best one. Um, unfortunately, you know, sometimes we just have to stick with these little aftermarket things. And it is what it is. Don't forget, you can always plug in a Sega Genesis controller um, or Master System or, or any other controller that, that has been on the market, aftermarket. Uh, I think there's one called a Waco stick uh, that a lot of people love. There, there's a whole bunch of them. Anyways, yeah, this was fun. I just wanted to try this because I've had this. Uh, threw it on the floor there. I had this in my collection for a while now, and I kept looking at the box going, I, I gotta check out that uh, joystick. And, uh, you know, I like the long wire. I like that it's, you know, it's got the nice weight to it, but I, I don't know about that. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't think I could live with that. Anyways, let me know what you think. Throw some comments down below. Uh, thank you, Willie, for sending this out to me. It was part of one of his little care packages. He likes to do that every once in a while. He'll just send you a box of, of goodies and uh, he just puts a little, you know, random things in there. Anyways, hope you liked the video. Hope you subscribe. Throw comments down below. Talk to you later.